What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Talk Talk Punch. Thanks so much for joining us. Now, whether you're watching us here on YouTube or you're listening in audio for podcast, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. That way you can come back here every Wednesday. See what we're talking about. Kind of like this week's topic. We're still missing Charlie. So the inmates are running the asylum. <laughs> so this week's topic, we are picking the top three perfect roles for Nathan Phillips. Because now you you may be wondering why exactly are we choosing roles for a the acclaimed unbelievable actor? And you know, hey, it's very very li- like not many people know this, but he is famous. He's world famous. He was in Firefly for corn sakes. He was in the Suicide Squad. And he has not gotten his due. And what he needs is he needs a couple of a, a couple of juicy screen roles. And I understand his his genius, his abilities, his essence can only be for certain very specific roles. Otherwise, it's just not worth his time. Not worth his time. I I don't know this as a fact, nor do I know this as even a rumor. But, you know, looking at at the person, at the actor, at the individual, you got to have something unique, something that he can he can get his teeth into right here as he's an actor extraordinaire. So for those who watched our 2021, 2022, most anticipated things of 2022, um, we had some predictions. So this kind of came out of Tudong's prediction that Nathan Fillion was going to become this was my... a, 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 a top movie star. Right? Am I getting that right, top movie star. Perfectly correct. He is already an acclaimed actor. Okay. Many, many people don't know that, but he is world famous and acclaimed. And so he, he, my, my prediction now is always going to be with every year coming in, this is going to be the year that he becomes, goes, branches off into his genius character work and graduates to that A-list star. There you go. So we have picked our top three roles that are going to help him to do that, that are going to boost him into super duper stardom stratosphere of the firefly kind brown coats you get get your coats and put them on and make sure they're brown all right now tudong how did how did you come up with this list did you have any criteria that you were working with i did okay i did one of these roles one of these roles is something that a lot of people have have um like uh, once again many people don't know this But a lot of people had wanted him for this particular role. One of them is something that I've seen, I just would love to see him do. And if he were to do this role, it'd be lots of fun. And one of them happens to be something that could possibly happen if they made this movie. I've heard, I've heard, uh, I've heard talks about it uh, around town. One thing they didn't think of is uh, Nathan Fillion. Not yet. It's, it's very difficult for people to be uh, enlightened and, uh, Sooner or later, they'll, they'll, they'll get around to it. What about you? What were yours? What are your criteria? So I, be, because we are picturing roles, I tried to go off of you know, existing characters. You know, I, and so it's, you know, it's kind of tough to be like, oh, well, it's a, like a random movie. Um, but I didn't just yeah. want to do, you know, the easy choice would just be going to all superheroes. Right. Right. And I, I, so I didn't do that. I limited myself to just one. So I've got a couple different areas of entertainment that I pulled from. Oh. So we'll, I'll kind of touch on those. I'll let you know before you reveal my pick here, um, which one. <laughs> so, but honestly, no real big surprises here. That's true. That that makes sense. That makes sense. He is a very specific actor (laughs) with very specific roles, although he has the range of doing anything. There you go. It's just, it's it's almost exactly like he, you know, not many people know it, but he is a world famous. He is. He is. All right. Well, let's get into the lists. Tudong, you are up first. My number three, this one is a fun one. This one I thought, hey, let's just throw this right on in there. And that would be Nathan Fillion playing Elvis. And yes, that is a picture 
from Castle <laughs> when he did play Elvis. Because sometimes you have to look at things. I looked at it and I was like, you got Nathan Fillion, and then you have the character of Elvis, and you bring those things together and you just have genius. I don't care if it's like a Bubba Hotep-esque kind of a thing. I don't care if it's a biopic. I don't care what it is. But you got Nathan Fillion portraying Elvis just like that right there. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Yeah, I, that was going to be my question of is, is this a biopic? Is this a, the, the accurate depiction? Accurate. You can't, the, the movie accurate, accurate depiction as, 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 of, yes. of Elvis Presley's life? anything it would be fun however he did it if he just was a cameo in a movie he'd steal it just as elvis for some reason it's i mean however you cut it you got elvis you got nathan fillion and you can't go wrong so so like a three thousand like, miles to graceland remake would be okay uh, so then he'd be an, an elvis impersonator and you know if it was nathan fillion I think I think right there, Big Daddy. I think I'll, I'll I'll just take I'll take what I can get. I'll take when I saw him when I saw him as Castle. It wasn't Nathan Fillion playing Elvis. It was Castle playing Elvis. So it was Nathan Fillion playing Castle playing Elvis. And let me tell you, don't step in my blue suede shoes. <laughs> perfect, perfect. I thought he was back from the dead. Oh yeah, no. Let, let, let now come on. Let's see your number three. Let's okay, see. Okay, now my number three. Okay, I had a hard time with my number. three. <laughs> okay, I because my number three was I wanted to do a a remake of a movie. That was nice. kind of the the genre style of pick. I was I was so I went through a number of movies, and I finally uh -huh. kind of landed on this one. Now I'm not saying I want a remake of this, but if they but were doing a remake, I think Nathan Fillion would be a great. Hey! And yeah, they that's good. Live. I think if they were doing a remake, I think Nathan Philly would be great in the Roddy Piper role. You got oh, to, he, he, to he, hear him say, uh, "I just came. I, I I came to kick ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of bubble gum." Oh, yeah. I think you know he can do <clears throat> he can do some action. He can do some comedy. I think it's it's a good mix of things that I think he could he could do pretty well. Wow, that is a good pick, right? That's a good choice, bro. Wow, that's really good. And this, you yeah. know, they they could redo. Yes. Yeah. Update it. And if they were going to be smart, if they're going to be smart, they got to cast Nathan Fillion. Nathan Fillion, I think he would be. <clears throat> like I said, if they did it, I think he. Wow, that's a good one, man. All right. Well, well what's up? My number two. Okay. My number two. Now, this one is a little bit different. Okay. This number two, <clears throat> this is not on a movie that has been made uh, yet. It is, I hesitate to say that this, it is, it is off of, based off a graphic novel, and it okay. is not technically a superhero role. Uh, and, I mean, they have talked about actually making it. It would be a very interesting movie. And if they were to cast Nathan Fillion as mm. Nemesis, that this is a that's a good pick. Can it be directed by Matthew Vaughn? Oh, it'd be great! Oh, come oh, on, it'd be so good. That Gosh, this was a messed up comic book, wasn't it? That was a really messed up, very violent rated R comic book. When I read this, I was very shocked. And the first thing I said after I finished it was. Nathan Fillion. <laughs> so this for the this, for the people that don't know, this is essentially if Batman became a bad guy and just right. murdered people v viciously, viciously. It Tons, is all the money, all the, all the gear, all the stuff like that, but just ultra violent. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he kills people with his bare hands. It it is really really vicious and if nathan Fillion come on as as nemesis that would be just like just ridiculous to see him hat like he'd have to i mean get get start get into some training get some because i mean look at that he has muscles on top of muscles like batman yeah but that would just be i mean how messed up would that be the sweet wholesome 
Nathan Fillion from Canada, even as Nemesis. Oh, oh that'd be cool. I'm having flashbacks to this comic. It's so messed. Up. Just it is a really messed up. Do you think he would now, do it? I will. I think... will say this. I, I will say this. If he also had to be uh, the actual good guy in it, he could he could do that too. But I'd love to see him be this bad. I mean, he's horrible. Like Nemesis is terrible, truly terrible. And seeing Nathan Fillion like kind of sh shred his nice guy appearance because he's such a nice guy. Oh, he's such a he seems like a nice guy. I've never met the guy, but if I did, he's a nice guy. I'm sure. But this this would be really cool as a movie and as a Nathan Fillion vehicle. And no remake. Do you think they could make this into a movie? I don't know. I really don't. They would have to tone it down a smidge. But then again, I didn't think they could do Kick-Ass as a movie. And Matthew Vaughn, he, he made it work. I don't know how he made that work. You didn't like Kick-Ass? Oh, I did. I really liked Kick-Ass. Yeah. I, yeah. Really I didn't it. think that could be filmed. When I, I saw that, I was like, they're going to do this? Yeah, not so much the second yeah. one. I really like the first. Matthew Vaughn didn't do the second one, right? He didn't do the second one. It was just he just did the first one. I don't remember. He just did the first. He couldn't. Have, he didn't do the second. He just did the first one. Unless, folks, comment down below if I am incorrect because I don't think he did. I don't think Matthew Vaughn did the second one. But he did the first one. He did the hell out of the first one. And to see him like also to do this, Nathan Fillion, we got a winner. He could somehow. He can make it work. He can make it work. Uh, yeah, directed by Jeff Wadlow, not a Matthew. Yeah. That'd be great to see. Boy, that, that would be a, it would be tough to adopt. I always say adopt when I mean to. Hey, you know, when you, when you think about these things, you're really adopting. That's what you're really doing. They say adapting and it's actually adopting. You're adopting the, uh, the, the, um, the graphic novel into a movie <laughs> but it's All like right. you, it's yeah okay moving on to my number two mm -hmm. now this one no surprise there's no surprise this is my video game one this is nathan drake this is uncharted i know okay we are getting an uncharted movie it's coming out this year i don't we did a trailer exactly. reaction to we it. did a trailer reaction to it I'll link it right above Dylan's head there. Dylan, hey. other hand, other hand. There you go. Right there. There it is. Um, and we're getting Tom Holland. Okay? It'll be fun. Will it be great? I don't know. Will I enjoy it? Probably. And so I understand they're, they're kind of banking off of the Tom Holland Spider-Man success. People like Tom Holland. He's acrobatic. Charming. He's, all the, all he's, all, good he's a stuff. very good actor. All that good he's stuff. A good actor. Um, but I have played all these games. I'm in the midst of playing number four. I know. I'm a couple years behind. I have kids. <laughs> um, but whenever I played these, it, I mean, he looks like Nathan Fillion. He acts like Nathan Fillion. He's charming like Nathan Fillion. And I always thought, okay, well, it's just a shoe in Did you know, Tudong Dylan, that there is a short 15 minute fan film that somebody did about uncharted that has nathan fillion playing nathan drake really i did not it's What's on it youtube it's on youtube go watch it it's 15 minutes it's great because you're watching it yeah. and you're saying i am watching a live action uncharted i'm watching a live action nathan drake i keep worrying that i'm gonna get the name because they're both named nathan i'm gonna say right. nathan drake when i mean to say nathan fillion or i'm gonna say nathan fillion when i mean to say nathan That's drake a, it's perfect i i forgive you Grant. but but we'll it's great Sully. it's great oh i don't know i didn't think that far you didn't hey, come on bruce campbell come on bruce campbell bruce campbell come on bruce campbell. <laughs> they're like the same age <laughs> the only thing that could possibly actually top uh, you know Nathan Fillion starring in a movie is Nathan Fillion <laughs> and Bruce Campbell starring in a film. It doesn't matter what it is. Film them going to lunch. That would be fantastic. 
but it's, he would be it, great as you know that. i mean right. um oh actually uh, bruce campbell is 63 nathan fillion is like 50 um yeah they're not the same age <laughs> No, not at all. So, th- so they could, and so, <laughs> but I, I understand they want. You know, th- they're probably banking on Uncharted being a franchise. They're going to want to do multiple movies, probably over the next ten years or something like that. So they, you know, so they're going young. But man, it is for me. It's whenever I play the game, I see Nathan Fillion. It's he is. It's like it. It's like made for him. Was it based off of him? I don't think so, but. I don't know. I, I mean, it's really close. I mean, even it's the name. Really close. Like, I, I mean, I've always been like, is they, it's based off of this guy. Like, you know? Yeah. Like they did, uh, like they based um, uh, Nick Fury off of Samuel L. Jackson. Yes. And he knew about it. They asked and all that stuff. I'm curious if they were like, hey, uh, Nathan. I said, all right, what do you think? Eh? The guy's name is Nathan. He's like you. No. I know. It seemed like it was perfect. And just... We have the 15-minute fan film. I really rec- recommend, recommend go watching that 15-minute fan film. Just type in Uncharted Nathan Fillion. It's 15 minutes. Come on. It's like super fast. And it's super cool. It's really neat to watch. They even frame different scenes just like the video game. Really neat. But it's like watching the video game. He looks just like him. They put him in the same clothes and everything. So there is my number two pick. That's good. That's alternate a good pick. universe. Maybe they'll have like a flash forward sequence when he's older <laughs> and they can have Nathan Fillion in the role. That would be perfect. That Man. would be perfect. I, I think it would be interesting to see Marky Mark turn into Bruce Campbell, but it could happen. <laughs> it could happen. <laughs> I have often said that Bruce Campbell looks like an older Marky Mark. You can do it. You can do it. Sure. Well, my number one, all right, bro, is not going to be very surprising. This one is definitely the least wild card that I've gotten because <laughs> this could happen, and it and it would be great if it happened. And right. that is everybody is always as everybody, Green Lantern, Nathan Fillion as Hal Jordan, Green Lantern, whoever he is. I think that would that's always been the superhero that I thought Nathan Fillion could do it this has. in his sleep. He's voiced Green Lantern in a couple of the DC animated films. Both Emerald Knights and, and in Justice League Doom. That's right. That's right. And that's right. I gotta, I gotta interrupt you for just a sec. <laughs> because I also picked Nathan Fillion for Green Lantern. I know. We're predictable. We're on the bandwagon. I've been on this bandwagon for a long, long old time. Right. It, the only thing, the only way that they got you to hold off on it is when they when they uh, cast Ryan Reynolds instead, who I thought would have made an amazing one had they gotten some stuff together because he's a fa- he's a fantastic actor. Yeah, but I think yeah, I I completely agree. I think Nathan Fillion would be such a good Green Lantern, and even the fact that he is a little bit older, you don't have to do the origin story. Right. Have, have him be right. the seasoned Earth Green Lantern mm. and bring in Kyle Rayner or any of the other ones. Yeah. Um, you know, there's, there's been so many. Bring in Jon Stewart. Have, have Nathan Fillion mm. be the, the mentor to Jon Stewart Green Lantern. I'd love to see him try and, and be his polite, his polite Canadian ways. While the guy Gardner is there, just being a jerk, and then he just just smashes him, just like the uh, Justice League International, huh? just like in Justice League Green uh, International, and when Batman just when punched, Batman did that, when I punched I, him I, right I, in the I, face. I laughed so hard he just one hit and he knocks him down. I, yep. It's that'd be fantastic. Either way, he he would be a phenomenal Green Lantern, and um. He actually was in, was it Two Guys, A Girl in Like a Pizza or something like that? The mm-hmm. TV show with Ryan with Reynolds. With Ryan Reynolds, yeah. Because uh, they're both comedy. Yeah, very young Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, very young, both of them, actually. This is before, this is before Firefly, even. It was before Van Wilder. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah, two guys, so a, now two folks, guys, A Girl in a Pizza, pizza Shop. 
Yeah, they, that's right. Now, I haven't seen Have you seen that? I haven't gotten a chance. I hands thought it. Let me tell you, it's not it's not available right now on Amazon. But if anybody does know uh, Nathan Fillion, please go ahead and let him know that these are the things that he should do because he deserves it. He what deserves it? to express his genius art for all the rest of us to see because he's been doing it. And now he should do it even more, I say. And he said that he would love to do Greenland. Hmm. About it. Of course he did. He is so. He, he is also so cool. he also he, said he wanted to do Booster Gold. I think Booster Gold. Right, right. Booster Gold Ooh, was like his American hero. Yeah, Booster Gold was like his his like dream superhero role. And so I thought about putting Booster Gold, but I'm just I so I, that... I, I want a Green Lantern like a good Green Lantern movie so bad, right? I love <laughs> Green Lantern. I love love Green Lantern. Yeah. You know, I, I like the Hal Jordan Green Lantern. He was always always like my favorite. And even the times favorite. when you have him in in the DC universe where he's he's uh, yeah. I, you ever see some of those where it was like around in the like in the seventies when he crossed over with uh, gr um, Green Arrow and Green Arrow's oh, like yeah. you don't know anything about like society. Go, we're gonna take a trip across the country and all that kind of stuff. And it's just really cool seeing his gritty like ridiculousness. Then like Hal Jordan's like. Oh, isn't everybody nice, nice and good? Like almost like he's big, almost like he's Canadian, like Nathan Fillion. Yeah. No. What is your favorite? Uh, if you had a movie of his, what's your favorite one, Nathan Fillion's favorite <laughs> movie? Movie? There's not. There's not a whole lot. I mean, I think I really started to like him when I watched Firefly. That's true. Oh, yeah, me too. Did you ever see him in Slither? James Gunn movie? You know, I never saw that one. It was one that, really? I, that I wanted to see. Watch it, dude. It's a it. really fun movie. And it's it's a... Uh, James Gunn directs it. Uh, let me see here. Uh, then, then, like Elizabeth Yeah, Banks he's like a star. It? He pl plays a, like a, uh, a... It's like a local sheriff or something like that. If you're going to watch Nathan Fillion and see him in a movie where he's starring in Slither is the movie to see it because besides like you know the Firefly or Serenity, but uh, Slither is a really fun James Gunn movie. You've got uh, you know, all the like a lot of the people that he already uses, and he still puts Nathan Fillion in smaller roles like voice roles in the Guardians movies instead of as Star Lord or as Drax. <laughs> yeah, I really my 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 biggest exposure to him. Was, Firefly. was in Firefly. He was excellent in that. But like I so said, good. folks, if you want to see a, t a, a movie with Nathan Fillion, check out the James Gunn Slither. Oh, there was the Doctor, really Ho Doctor Horrible Sing. That's, yeah, that's not, I don't think that's a whole movie, but yeah, that's what that's no, it was. That like was a little mini series thing. And he took a back seat. He took it in the back seat to uh, NPH, but that's okay. He still, he still rocked. But he was like the main, like, superhero guy. He, he is bad guy. He's such a good. He's really good at being like a good guy, but being just a just a screw up of a good guy. Where he's like, I hey, all I got to do is really smile and flex, and and I'm a superhero. I got that. He's excellent in those kinds of things. That's how he was. He was hilarious. But Slither is excellent. He's great in that. White Noise. He was the best part. The best part of that was actually him hosting the behind the scenes thing. <laughs> I was like, the best part of this was that behind the scenes thing. He seems such a like you see him in the bat behind the scenes stuff. He seems like such a nice guy. He looked like he'd be so much fun to work with. Yeah, he also did Green Lantern in the Reign of Superman and the Death and Return of Superman. Really? I didn't know this. I didn't know that. Yeah, so he's he's been Green Lantern voiced over enough to where you'd think they cast him. <laughs> yeah, you would think WB would be like, you know what? That's pretty good at green. Really good. It's good in general. He's it's very very little known, but he's world famous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you got anything else to add on this topic, Tudong? No, sir. I think I have uh, I have uh, espoused my Nathan Fillion enough to where I'm going to have to wait until a whole week uh, or next week. The next, uh, the next video, so that we're, so that we can actually talk about him again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, go ahead and take us home, Tudong. 
That's right, folks. Always uh, show up every Wednesday, and uh, down below you'll see some of our past videos that uh, we have done. And under uh, beneath me right here, beneath Broad, you click and subscribe and join us every single. You'll get uh, um, notices and uh, the, we're, new videos are coming out. Join us and see what shenanigans we're talking about then. Good. All right, we'll see you guys later. See you later, folks.